All right, all right, all right. You're on Sweet's Garage YouTube channel. Last size, 12 and a half. Vi gängar lite här. Jag har börjat. Why am I speaking Swedish? So, let's thread this. I already started it. Because I was on a roll here and the camera ran out of battery. And So what am I making? I'm making a adapter for the oil pressure sending units. I I don't think you can buy these or maybe you can but I can't find any. So I made my own. I had this aluminum uh, bar or whatever you want to call it. It's for my tow truck. For my dolly, the dollies on the fuel on the tow truck. I never used it because I used uh, some other thing. So it's been laying on my tow truck for years now. So I cut a piece from that. <coughs> I drilled a hole in it, as you saw saw in the video, and now I threaded that hole and see how that works
Now, to tell you the truth, the threads down here, they didn't look very good. Well, I got plenty of material if I need to do it another time. So, let's try it. I have a sending unit here. So, let's see. That side works. What about this side? Yeah. This uses a... Oh, I think it's still here. Let's see. Well, I thought so, but I guess not. No. Anyway, it uses a copper or aluminum aluminum washer here to seal it. So my plan is, I gotta get a a bolt, an M14 bolt, cut it off, and then drill a hole in it, and then you put the, put the bolt in here, or in here, and this goes here, this is going to be on the, uh, depend on the, I don't know the size, inside yet but so it's gonna be like this but it's sticking out pretty much so we'll see because then this one is gonna be hanging down from it like this So it goes like this. So now we're going to drill a hole in it for this sensor. <coughs> the sensor is a uh, Seven, I think it was. Let's check it. That's black paint on my thumb. One eight twenty seven, yeah. Okay. And we're gonna do, I have one here, this is a 18, 18.27 and I gotta google what size of a hole you need to drill for that one. But uh, let's uh, first make uh, so this one is 56 
That's 25, 27. Oh, I'm lazy. Let's do the card calculator. Fifty-six divided in two, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is the middle. And twenty-six. Twenty-six. That's thirteen. So there's the center. Let's do a, a thing there. That's the center. So, uh, I don't think I have to show you guys when I uh, drilled it, so i get back in a little while. Okay, I'm back. So, I drilled a hole here, and according to the internet, it's supposed to be, because I'm a metric guy, and it's supposed to be 8.7 millimeters drill bit for this tap and I don't have an 8.7 so I made it 8.5 so we'll see if we can get get it to work on 8.5 or if I have to go up to 9 mil. Let's try this. Let's see if I... Can I use this to start it? A little bit easier to handle than the big bar. Hmm. Wonder if I should try the the drill press to get it to start. Put this here. It. And we put the tap in here. Too straight. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna use that kind of speed. So raise this up. Turn here. Like so. Now we got it to start. And 
then we take it to the workbench this way you get it to, to start perfectly straight so let's see because this is aluminum I'm not using any kind of lubrication this is really soft aluminum I discovered that when I was drilling holes and this is a, a tapered thread so that's why I'm using aluminum to do this kind of adapter I'm not straight I'm not through yet so I never done a, a tapered thread before so I have no idea how deep I should do it let's get this uh, sending unit I don't know. This all now it's all crooked. Maybe I maybe I had to do it nine mil. This hole. We'll see if we can drill it up to nine millimeter. So from 8.7 up to 9. this will make it easier for the tap to start
maybe I have to do it in the in the drill press so it keeps it straight and doesn't lean over when you get some kind of resistance So, what size is that? 19? 24 it was. So like I said, I don't know how far you go with this but it just came through let's see if this works I think that's barely gone through. I think we do make him go a little bit more. Excuse me. So let's see how deep it goes. You don't want to make it too deep so it touches the, the, <laughs> the end of it and he won't get any ore pressure up to this sending unit. Well that's, I think that's better. It just, it just started to get in there yeah I know this is a broken one but I wonder if I have a M14 bolt It's going to be like this. Huh? That's not bad. I don't want it... I want it hanging down so it's... That's the, the less stress on the the bolt that goes between the, the block and this adapter this way you could you know kind of uh, and unthread itself and start leaking I wonder if I can find a, a 90 degree here 
so I could get the this sending unit like this that would be perfect I gotta google that M14 by one and a half <coughs> 90 degree angle cool I just gotta find the bolt now so let's see if I have one I know I have some some bolts in here I put you guys on hold while I'm looking for a bolt well I think I have to f end this video here I do not have any bolts with the right thread size I got M14 175 and I got M14 125 but I do not have anyone that's one, M14 1.5 one and a half and I don't know how much it is to show on the video you take like it's, a, it's like like a bolt like this you cut this uh, let's say an inch long maybe or three quarter of an inch long you cut it you drill a hole in it go all the way through it and you uh, screw it in here with the and the other end goes in the block and you use Loctite so and you adjust it so this one comes the way you want it on the block I mean it's not much to show on a video like I said you just cut one of these with the right thread size you cut it drill a hole in it and then you mount it so I think that's I think that's gonna be it for this video but this is uh, this way worked out better than I expected and uh, as you can see here I'm gonna see if I can find a 90 ba uh, bend for the for the factory sensor, oil pressure sensor, so I can get it in an angle instead of straight out like this. Uh, it's gonna get pretty close to the, uh, not pretty close, but it gets, I, it's too close for my liking to the radiator fan on the radiator. So I would like to find a neat 90 bend on it. But, <coughs> You, you see what uh, what you can do with some uh, cheap uh, tap and die set from Eula and a piece of uh, aluminum and a drill press. Also, Eula cheap drill press. So, I'm happy with this. It's going to be painted probably white so thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye all right all right all right end of the video the only thing left is to subscribe and hit that like button welcome back see you in the next video